magnifique. You don't have to speak French to understand what you're seeing. And you don't have to know a lot about automobiles to appreciate how special what the Tampa Bay Automobile Museum has here. It's not like most vintage car museums in America because most of the 84 cars on display are from Europe, France, Germany, England, Italy, and Czechoslovakia. Each exemplifies some breakthrough innovation that helped cars evolve to what we drive today. They were collected by Alan Cerf and his family. Cerf moved his business, Polypack, from France to Pinellas Park, Florida in the 1970s. The privately held company manufactures industrial scale packaging equipment. Cerf didn't just move the company, he also moved his collection of cars. In 2005, he opened it to the public. The museum is located next to the Polypack corporate headquarters at 3301 Gateway Center Boulevard. Alan Morin is the museum's director. We are a family-owned collection of cars. It is a family that came here from France in 1972 and they brought with them their family, their business, and four cars behind me. The Peugeot Darlamat, the Delahaye, the Talbot Lago, and the Samsung. Now it's 84 cars. They've continued to pursue cars because they had some engineering significance or innovation in design, whether it was aerodynamics or drivetrains. They somehow changed the or influenced the future of automobile design. So we do our own restorations here. So we have a full-time mechanic, body and interior specialists, and they drive these cars. So as you look through our museum, you'll see that all of these cars are driven by the family. These aren't just museum pieces. Uh, we have cars here that are 122 years old with a Florida license plate on them. So their their family fully intends to come in here and drive those. And when they do, things break when you have 100-year-old cars. And so they have a full-time staff back there that can keep these things in running condition. One of the star attractions is the Fortier de Cuneau. Fortier means wagon, and Cuneau is the name of the inventor. French Army Captain Nicholas Joseph Cuneau, who built the world's first self-propelled vehicle in 1770. That's six years before the American Revolution. In 2010, Cerf built a full-scale working replica. The original is in the Paris Museum of Science and Industry. The two and a half ton wood-fired steam-powered contraption has a top speed of about four kilometers per hour or about two and a half miles an hour. It was designed to carry heavy artillery pieces. It worked, but it wasn't very practical. For one thing, it didn't have brakes, so soon after it was made, it crashed into a wall, thus recording the world's first automobile accident. The replica now has pride of place in Pinellas Park. Before photos of some of the cars give visitors an idea of how dramatic and expensive restoration can be, guides are on hand to answer questions and give insights into how and why early cars were designed the way they were. Uh, instead of having to get out on the, uh, what we deem the normal side and out into traffic, and roads were narrow back then and muddy, uh, instead of having to get out and walk all the way around, the luxury marks were typically built right-hand drive uh, so that the chauffeurs could step out on curbside rather than have to walk around and uh, out into traffic. The museum is open every day except Tuesday from 10 to 4.30, noon to 4.30 on Sundays, but it's wise to check the website. There is an admission charge. The museum is a tribute to the inventors, engineers, and designers who designed these beautiful machines and the collectors who preserve them. For time to travel, this is Phil Dean at the Tampa Bay Automobile Museum in Pinellas Park, Florida.